Someone commented saying right now, all she cares about is home decor. She's just moved into a new place and just watching a lot of videos to just help her with home decor and just planning. I want to say I feel so jealous because I love that stage. Today, I want to talk to you about my favorite little pieces in my house, basically home decor for inspiration, hopefully, and just to share with you guys what I love and what how I think when I'm looking, doing things in my house. Big furniture pieces, I've done quite a few videos on, so check those out, big furniture being sofas. But this video is like, Deco, so let's get into it. My favorite thing I have be warned it's quite a list I have nine items my house is not major big it's 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 a flat two bed honestly the place I play around with the most is the living room space I'm trying to that's my current project I think once I'm satisfied with this space I'm gonna go into the office space um, to make that more nice you know just yeah you know big girl big boy office kind of vibe anyway these things you mainly find them in this space in the living room and the first one on the list is my little marble tray this tray is so simple it's so so small it's so simple it's like 30 by 15 or something like that centimeters but it just adds like i know what i was doing this is a glorious piece that is going to elevate my house and make it look like an interior designer stepped foot in here and said you know when you have random pieces just ornaments this is this um for me it's just lovely the reason i got it originally was to put my plants in there and like water them and they sit in a bit of water for humidity but it leaks so that didn't quite work um i got it from Danelle, but now i just use it to just keep my plant pots but i don't keep water in there i don't keep a little reservoir anymore um but it's so beautiful it's so simple and it has these little little things i don't know what they're called but they create a little platform it sits on it they're little marble round not marble like round discs and they're called, on each corner so it's like not flat on the ground it's slightly ever so slightly elevated and it's so nice it's so 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 nice it's just every time i glance in that direction i'm just like I did that. I did. Next, straight up after the marble tray is diffusers. Diffusers, I think, is a world I want to deep dive into a little bit more. Um, I had somebody comment on my perfume video if I had tried a particular brand, and the answer was no. But I definitely want to dibble and dabble into that world because scent is everything. And I'm done with candles. I have faux candles they're not real they're real candles but they don't burn actual light they're battery powered but they're actual real candles um anyway i say that to say diffusers are a great way to get scent and i have like three different scents in different areas of my house that way i don't get nose blind to one scent so when i walk in a particular area i get a different whiff when i'm standing in a different area i get a different whiff you get what i mean right but they're so beautiful in terms of decor they look good they just look they look so intentional and they just look pretty with the little whisk, you know, little sticks sticking out. I like my black ones. My thing, the thing going on in my house is little black accents dotted around because otherwise it's quite a beige, cream, pure white walls as well. So the little black accents really do a lot in the house. So the diffuser is the second on my list with one of my favorite home decor pieces. Is it a piece? I don't know, but we love it. Third is plant pots. The pandemic did it. The pandemic did it. I bought one and now I have like 50 plants. I have plants and I love plants. Literally, when I'm away for like a week before I go, my concern is my plants. I love my plants and I call it, I have like some rare plants or tropical plants or things that I have to DM people to get a cutting kind of plants. So I take my plants so seriously. I love them. I love So their plant pots are equally just, it's like their home. So I take it very seriously. But of course, it needs to make sense with what's going on in my house but what i've realized with plant pots is don't try to do matchy matchy too much just like have a metallic thing going on and then have this one that's slightly marbled or speckled and then you have solid colors that are like this duck egg white and then you have plain white ones and then you have some that you layer with stools or stands um again it's just to create dimension is to create different accents and different colors and the illusion of texture through patterns or print or patterns rather so plant pots for me is a great way to for me i 
actually consider them decor because they make that much of a difference in my house uh so if you don't have plants i mean start simple you don't have to get 50 plants like i've ended up with but definitely when you do pick one pick one that's quite statementy that goes well with your personality and then um take your time to pick a good plant pot i think one of my favorites i'll find it let me grab it this plant is a bit sad because it's just a very difficult picky plant and also i did desert it during christmas but what i've noticed about plant pots is when it's glazed like this one this is my most expensive plant pot i can't remember but i think i paid something like 60 70 pounds and it's not even that big but i genuinely just fell in love with its color and the glazing and the pattern it's just so majestic i don't know like this makes a lot of sense to me when you're looking at plant pots glazed ones do really well in terms of just really looking um blush premium and just just very 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 luxurious decor and also don't be afraid to buy like ones with shapes or balls to them there's so many creative things and then my sister got me one that's like a butt and like a woman's you know frame again it's fun um so just really enjoy it and make it personal make it appeal to your personality every time you look at it you're just like oh, i did that last one i promise on the plant pots hanging plant pots i have one that's a hanging plant pot and it's gold i got it from depop it's so pretty it's just so pretty it's just so just delicate again it's metallic it just adds a different dimension it just adds a different vibe i have two metallic pots plant pots and one is like a copper color this one is gold again the mixed tones it's just when you start to confidently move away from matchy matchy things start to make a lot of sense really nice check it out okay i've got three things left the one that is up next is my vases vases vase vase i don't know whatever you call it i have two and i love them they are identical one of them i use for flowers one of them i use for my dry cotton i just love them I bought them from TK Maxx. They're very delicate looking and they make the house just look very feminine and they give a home vibe to my place and that's why I honestly they made this list. Um they were inexpensive. Originally they are an LSA um glass vase. LSAs they sell glasses. They're really unique. I really love again the play on metallic colors on the top. It's really really nice. Um and I like the size. The size is very very nice as well. So yeah definitely consider once you I mean some of these things right they're for when you're settled in a home in a house and you're now looking for little things to just take it up a notch the basics are now in place and it's these things that make it very artistic and very much to your vibe and to your character I would say take your time with it enjoy the process and don't put yourself under pressure to get all these things all at once just know that your eyes open to it your mind is open to it when it when you see something have no where it's going to go but don't feel the need to buy everything in terms of decor all at once second from last is this bad boy this mirror the biggest thing i ever did right was getting an arched one as opposed to like a square i know the trending ones right now are like wavy and foamy and stuff which is cool and they're colorful sometimes as well which is really cool but i feel like this will forever be a classic like it just makes the house feel so much bigger it's like the illusion and it just makes it brighter if i could put mirrors everywhere i would but obviously that would be a bit crazy so we can't do that i love i love this mirror i got this mirror from I've forgotten the name but i know dunel do sell arched mirrors sometimes and it goes out of stock so quickly it's crazy and this one i had to wait two months for it to be made and delivered as well so i do know that they can be quite difficult to find but boy am i glad i have one it's so beautiful it's it's gorgeous it makes all the difference and again the black accent going you know the frame with black and it's a very thin frame um those are the little details you should pay attention to like when you've got such a statementy piece a thin frame really helps it's just like the frame the picture frames with the thin the medium sized borders it makes all the difference one of the things i'm thinking to add to my house is picture frames and maybe canvases and maybe I paint some of it i have a painting that is half finished things like that that i'll pay attention to the border the color of the border because again it reflects your personality your taste and your vibe and then lastly this is a new addition to this house the latest addition is 
floor lamp standing lamp and i got this like cinematic i forgot what it's called but it's so gorgeous it's such a statement again in black because that's what's going on in this house and it works so so well it's beautiful i love orange light like at night time it's everything like piercing white light is too much for me orange light is everything guys i think it's a wrap i really hope this has been very helpful um or at least fun it's such a fun video for me to make because um it's about my home it's about pieces that i picked if ever i need to do an updated version because i'm sure these things are forgotten like these little ceramic pieces that i made that back in school i use them as decor but maybe another video thank you thank you for staying to the end if you have any questions let me know if you want me to go into detail about any particular thing let me know otherwise i'll see you next week sunday 6 p.m stay safe